we we go to sleep uh, like we co- operate the same as computers we go to sleep <laughs> what, what computer program had me do that <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of KFC Radio. It's just me and Jackie. Kevin is at Disney on Ice at the moment, right across the street. Um, and it's like my favorite thing in the world that Kevin is, uses game time for Disney on Ice when everyone else uses it for like concerts. And, <laughs> and, and, and he, he, he was the one who pointed it out where he's like concerts and MMA fights and college football. So his whole company uses game time for. Kevin's using game time to uh, go to Disney on Ice. Although that video he sent does look fucking fire. I got to have a good time at 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 Disney on Ice. Um, but anyway, so it's me and Jackie. Um, we it's it's I have words written down that don't make any sense and we're just going to go. It's going to be a random episode. First up, MLK thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to take it away? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she ran die. No, 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 no. La- <laughs> MLK. Jackie's like, I don't speak on MLK no, anymore. No, 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 no. I- Not after that incident in middle, middle school. <laughs> Don't, if no. you guys don't know about Jackie in middle school with MLK, it's it is. Not, you got to it. Right it, it is. Tell them the story. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be in. Tell them the story. Nothing happened, nothing happened <laughs> in middle school. Ever. The nothing. first middle school you went to. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I truly don't know what you're talking about. No, when I'm saying that, it makes it sound like they're watching something that happened in middle school. <laughs> nothing. Look at me. Look at me. Nothing <laughs> happened in middle school. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, it seems like whatever. it seemed. You seem like you're awfully defensive. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you sound exactly no. like someone who would show up to school on MLK Monday, and you're like, I go to work. <laughs> we were just debating this, like, like, like I, this shouldn't get a day off. I go to, I go to class on Mondays. <laughs> Palace was just saying though, like, shouldn't we? I, I think like maybe we could, uh, white people should have to work on MLK. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's unless Jackie said, unless you're doing something <laughs> helpful. This, this helpful is, to is spreading yeah. good Jackie thoughts. said going to a rally. I was like, I don't think a rally is the thing you want to be going to. But this I is, like this a, is exactly what happened in middle school. No, yeah. But, no, I meant Jackie like a, tried to start a rally on MLK. Yeah, yeah. When I when I when I was thinking of rally, I was thinking like go black like go like <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta cut that. <laughs> we have, like bro, like you know, like good things. Like, Ooh, we love you guys. Yeah, there so you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it's all getting cut. So, yeah. Anyway. Jack, he's like, I edit this. I'm just cutting it all. It doesn't really yeah, fucking yeah. matter. Yeah. Um. All right, but I did hear that there was an MLK statue, so I do want to see what that. You haven't seen like. this at all. I have not seen it. No. Um, Damn. When I see stuff and you don't. I've been I've been off the internet, man. I've been skiing. I've been fucking. I've been off the grid. So here's the here's the reveal. It's in Boston. Oh no, it's in Boston? Yeah. And it's called The Embrace. Wait. Wait for another shot. I- oh boy. This is tough. I don't. What is it? It's supposed to just be MLK hugging. A hug. It looks like someone's sucking their own dick from this <laughs> yeah, end. <exactly. laughs> that is that that's what that's the general consensus doing, is. Like, um, I mean it just that looks like, looks like it's just holding, holding a big, a big penis. Dick. <laughs> yeah. This is so actually I have now that I see it I have seen a photoshopped image of one of the arms with that that cop who was fucking everybody and it was her <laughs> just holding the arm dick and so I had seen I didn't know what I was looking at I knew what it was supposed to yeah. represent that's a good angle right there yeah yeah that looks handsome that's a uh, yeah I don't know I I just don't know if there are good statue makers I I think like st- like. Like no one, I don't think I don't believe in Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, I don't no. believe in the statue of David because that looks like a person. Has I, there ever been a statue ever made in the last fifteen years that looked like the person it was supposed to look like? Well, now they're trying to get too abstract with it. Like I feel like for for whatever, like what are the, I, what are they I got into this argument this weekend. I think the reason that that is is they're trying to justify four year colleges for some of this shit. Because when yeah. I was in college, they. It was a intro to like film class, and they're focusing on abstract shit. And I'm like, you're all just spewing bullshit. There was a there's a movie Persona, where 
it does a countdown in the beginning to 10, 9, and at 6, it just flashes a giant dick on screen. And our teacher stopped the class and went, so how does everybody feel? And it's like, what? what do you mean? It's like, how did that make you feel? I'm like, you're just trying to make this seem like it's a legitimate degree in Iowa right now. It's not. But like, but like, there's there's the Ronaldo statue. There was there have been other like famously awful statues made. And I just don't think that. You, the, what's the guy with the? Like, if you if you go, want to go to Breckenridge, Colorado in the winter, I'll take you to the fucking ice sculpting class. Not class. Ice oh, sculpting those competition. are sick. Those guys can fucking make you a statue. Those are the last great artists in the world, I think. Um, okay, that's our take on MLK. Um, <laughs> Wait, you didn't give your take on just... On MLK? Yeah, just in general. Uh, I'm pretty pro. Pro. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, you can put me down. You can write that one down. You can, you can jot me down for a... Uh, jot, me, jot me down on that, too. <laughs> I'm a pro <laughs> MLK guy list. over here. Okay. Um, okay. You guys? I'd also like to be yep. jotted down. Yeah? Yeah. You can put that on the record. Room full of pros? Colleen's, Colleen's quiet. Colleen's really quiet, really quiet. <laughs> yeah. Arizona over there. <laughs> Arizona didn't celebrate MLK Day until, like, the 90s, I believe it was, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was that Jenny Mullen told us that? Yeah, I think so. The, yeah. Until like 1994, Arizona was like, we're not sold on this MLK guy just yet. <laughs> Pauline had a little mishap. Wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to figure that out. When did... 92. 92. Voters in Arizona passed the law in 1992 to make the King's birthday, to make King's birthday a state holiday. The very next sentence, the NFL put the 1996 Super Bowl in the state. <laughs> I don't know if that was part of it. I don't know why those two are together, <laughs> yeah. but um, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what is the oldest thing you own and you actually use? Oh, shit. The oldest thing I own and actually use? Yeah, I just saw this question on Twitter like two seconds ago. Um, and it... You go first. Uh, mine's probably just a pair of underwear. Yeah. God. <laughs> I mean, actually, I probably have like a pair of... Like, I, I would guess... I have a pair of shorts that I still wear that I stole from a guy in high school, so probably those. Oh, yeah, that's true. I have a shirt I wear that's from, like, early 2000s. I, I, would, I would think it's underwear. Every, every single time I take off a pair of underwear, I go, I should just throw these away. <laughs> it's crazy. I do not have one. I don't recommend that because I recently started doing that, and now I don't have underwear. Yeah. I, I got to go, and then I leave here. I'm like, I don't want to stop and shop right now. So it's just... I have to do laundry three times a week. I have been doing that where I just, I'm just like, ah, feels like someone's stealing my underwear. And they're not stealing it. It's just me. I'm throwing it away. How's your drug stops? Huh? How's your drug stops? Uh, my <laughs> other one, my first one that I wore the other day, awful. I already regret asking this question. Awful. Yeah. I hated every second of it, particularly because like. Does it, does it like uh, make you a little perkier, boost it up? I, I did. I honestly never checked. I, I, I didn't really look in a mirror or anything like that. <laughs> Got a video um, on my phone if you want to look at it. It's crazy uncomfortable. It's crazy uncomfortable. They should Dude. just do a thong. I guess, but I, I, I'm actually glad, glad to have you here today. I don't understand how girls wear even thongs because when I was out, I was on the subway. I had, you know, it was just like just one piece of fabric between my cheeks and the seat. And it, I felt very vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, I, I've never thought of it like that. And it got in my head a little bit the other day when you yeah. said that because now I was kind of like, there's just like a thin... But but you now just, you're gonna be thinking about how the sundresses come in the spring. You're like, I'm a fucking. I don't. I'm cool also. Breeze. I'm also a leaner though, and I think it's gross. If you're wearing a skirt, things are gonna crawl up in there. Ew. Just, sorry, but like, yeah. I mean, yeah, that doesn't. That's not a thing. Bacteria <laughs> crawling all up, all up in the skirt. No. I don't know. I don't. Think <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't think I so. Like that I don't fucking, think bacteria can crawl. It spreads. I guess it kind of. Yeah, I, I guess, guess like I'd like if you put it under a microscope, I'm sure it probably looks like it's it crawling. crawling. I'll give okay, it to anyways, you. but um, I don't know. You just don't feel it. You don't think about it. Like, is the reason why jock straps aren't like thongs because like it, guys aren't wouldn't be like they think it's too like. Well, I don't think anyone wears jock straps. They're they're made for like I guess gay people do according to Pat. The they're made for you put a cup in them, and then that oh. holds your cup up. Like the the jock strap I was wearing the other day was supposed to have a cup in it. Wait, so so. Mm. Start rocking. Uh, I, I already office. like what when you're working out and like jumping around. What's what's holding that Nothing. place? Nothing. Nothing. You just that's why I don't know what people did. I guess I, I do know what people did. They wore fucking jock straps before the invention of compression shorts. Because as someone who does quite a bit of jump roping, if I end up on a bad day where I don't have a clean pair of compression shorts, 
it's a debacle. <laughs> it is. I don't know. You don't have to keep, you don't have to keep giving details about that. It actually, I'll go so far as to say if I don't have clean compression shorts, I do not work out that day. Because it is. It's a debacle. It's a debacle. <laughs> it's just like uh, like an old lady. Any, like an old lady, like the saggy titties. You don't have to. You don't have to keep. Going. <laughs> I got the picture. I got the picture. Imagine an old lady okay. with the ability to sprint still, but she's got no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> so she's moving. She she is humming down the street, and titties are just okay everywhere. This I actually w- I have a question. Okay. When like sometimes I feel like sometimes I feel like the best like. Sex for girls is, I feel like, partially good because, like, you're like, I'm so hot. Like, I'm being so hot right now. But do guys have that at all? I feel like. Kind of oh, I can't speak for all men, <laughs> yeah. but I can speak for myself and say no. I mean, like, some, <laughs> some, but, like, I feel like you guys are all, like, so body. You guys all just think terribly of yourself. I don't know what you're about to say. <laughs> it is. No, I, I, dude, I, I actually remember I have had sex fairly recently where it was like, uh, Oh, do you want to like get on top and look yourself in the mirror? And she was like, "Absolutely." And I was like, "If, you, if that question was in the reverse, I'd be like, like, what are you fucking nuts? Turn I mean, the like, lights out." Guys don't, don't wanna... think about that at all. Like, they would not want. Dude, if, if someone offered me, dude, I looked to in the like fuck me and watch you yourself in the mirror, I'd be like, no chance, no, thank you very much. That would be a fucking nightmare. In fact, I my bed, like I have my there's like a big full length mirror like right to my left. And every single morning I wake up and the first thing I see is myself shirtless. So every single day starts the worst <laughs> possible way. <laughs> like, like, it is just like, I wake up and I roll over and I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, still you love- still won't look like this. <laughs> like, How did nothing happen in my sleep last night that drastically changed my appearance to the world? And it is, it fucking sucks. It I still sucks. love your, your drawing. Of like your um, like you're in the so shower. Wet. Oh you're my so god! <laughs> <laughs> That's so like wet. imagine that imagine that shadow being like you remember remember like Peter Pan and Wendy are like sewing shadows. No, you don't. No, that's like part of part of the show, part of the movie. You don't if you lose your shadow, you like fucking die or something. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I ever fully watched Peter Pan. To be but honest. whatever. What I'm saying yeah, is, imagine yeah. have me having to fucking <laughs> sew okay. my shadow. I'm like, like, fuck this. Dude. Cute little like Tinkerbell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, it, like that's exact. I mean, it's, it's a shadow. You have those shadows. Like, it's exactly. <laughs> yeah. like, bro, so I go from. I go from. I wake up in the morning. And I look at myself in that mirror, and I go, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. And then I, I get up, and I go to the shower, and then I have to look at my fucking goddamn shadow the whole sh- whole shower. And it's just, <laughs> oh, I'm a repulsive, you know, disgusting person. Nikki Glazer said this on, um, she was talking about, like, Louise Hay, and she's, like, the big, like, mental health girl. And she who? says, there's, like, this girl who, like, does, like, all these, like, mental health books or whatever. And she said, Nikki Glazer said this. There was like this one thing. It's like I love and approve of myself exactly as as I am. And if you just say that in your head over and over and over again, it actually it sounds so dumb, but it actually helps. Jackie, to she told John to do that, and he's like, "Yeah, that's not gonna work." Yeah, that's right. No, I swear yeah. to God, wait, I swear to God. Wait, you heard her say this on a different podcast? No, she said no, it no, in this no, 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 no. I, I heard her say it here, <laughs> okay. and I but I have heard Louise Hay. Big that man. sounds like a made up name. Yeah. I keep thinking like I'm like. Finish your thoughts. Okay, sorry. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that. But I've listened to her audiobooks, and she says, "I love and approve of myself exactly as I am." And then whenever you're not feeling good about yourself, so I want you in the morning. You wake up, and then when you look at yourself in the mirror, don't don't look at yourself in the mirror first. Not saying oh, that'll help tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like, I'm saying, like, if you don't like what you're seeing, then don't do it. Yeah, but yeah, but, and then but then before you do say I love and approve myself exactly as I am as many times but as I, you but can. I, but I don't. Jack. No, but you do. <laughs> like like you I just, don't love and approve of myself. But even just wait, first of all, not what you should be saying. The, but I so don't. That, I shouldn't. No, no I have not that. earned love and approval of myself. God, there's no uh, fixing you, you at all. <laughs> <laughs> How can you ever like get better? You would just be because you just okay, 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 okay. I actually okay, so you're subconscious, you just have to like trick it, and so it's like it, t- it feeds in, like you just gotta like literally, like, even if you don't believe it, you don't have to believe it, just tell yourself, stop, don't say it, you're about to say it, you're about to say, it. but I don't, but I don't, but just say, okay, go, 
But then, like, why would I, if I love and approve of myself, why would I get in shape? If I love and approve of myself here. Doesn't matter. Because you have, it starts I feel like it matters a bit. What? I feel like it matters. No, no, it, because it starts with self love. And then once you, then I you disagree. start treating I think only, then you start only not things are done through hatred. Fucking like. Spite. What? Like hatred and spite or what? Yeah, but then change. it's like, then it's like you treat your body. You also like, like you look great. Everybody here looks great. So it's like you don't even That's have not to like. Whatever. We all have mirrors. Okay, but then once it starts with self love, then you start to be like, okay, I'm not going to eat 5,000. Reese's and then like whatever you do, I don't know. Like, what you, don't look at me. Like, bro, I don't like Reese's. I'm a Justin's. This is uh, a Justin's house. <laughs> okay, I don't know what you do. Like old Chinese food. Like you just start treating your body like a little bit better because you're like I love and improve myself. You know? But I don't think I would. I don't think I would. I did. I did have like uh, a uh, I guess a mantra. Okay. Oh, right? is that what they're called? Yeah. Right. Or affirmation. Yeah. Affirmation. But it doesn't really apply. But I like it. We'll say it. It just I just read it on the top. Just have yourself one. <laughs> 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 it's, it's just in my notebook. You know what? If you're living, yeah. If you're living by them, doesn't you can have I actually yourself really, one. But I like that as a term. I wouldn't say like that's <laughs> the same thing as I love and improve myself. Exactly it, the same it, it's not. But it, I think it it does what I need it to do, which is just it could be anything. It could be a day, a week, a beer, a drink. Fucking have yourself one, kid. Wait, I like that. <laughs> I really like that. It could have yourself a month. Have yourself a fucking year to get greedy. Who cares? Yeah. Fucking have yourself what one. What does it mean, though? Fucking, it means have yourself one, dude. Okay. Jackie, do you have a mantra? Um, yeah, she stole Nikki's, and now it makes me feel yeah. bad about it. <laughs> where I got my own goddamn mantra right in this fucking book. Mm, I don't really think I have one yet. So, uh, you know what? When I look at the notes before the show, what am I going to have myself one? Have myself a show. Have yourself a fucking Fuck, let's show. Fucking have yourself one, kid. Have yourself a show. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. Okay, but I. It has not worked so far. I was gonna say I don't think. <laughs> I think that's just gonna get you like to like party a lot or whatever. But it's, like, it's, it, it can it can mean whatever you want it to yeah. mean. Just fucking have yourself one. Okay. It's have just yourself separate. a funny hairnet you wear. <laughs> Did you just call it a hairnet? <laughs> whatever it is. My hair's greasy, so I had I had to wear, I had to wear this thing right now. Um, yeah, um, no, I, have I feel like one. I feel like yeah, you're you're trying to get away from self improvement again, but sure, we'll, yeah, no, almost <laughs> exclusively. Yeah. We'll come back to it. I want just at least try, at least try tomorrow. Say it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say have yourself one. Okay, is what I'm gonna say. Okay, whatever. I'll stick with my thing. I, because I don't have to love and approve myself in order to have myself one. I can just fucking have myself one, despite the deep seated hatred. Okay, <laughs> you're just gonna continue. Do you guys? <laughs> do you guys have mantras? Uh, kind of. I always just said like better, like just be better today. Try to like build on everything. Yeah, yeah. Be it's better. lame. Yeah. I constantly remind myself I'll, I'll be dead one day whenever <laughs> I need to like motivate myself to do something. Like you'll be dead. Might as well do it. <laughs> sure. No. Jackie, this backfired All on you. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> <quick>. <laughs> All of you guys. Colleen. I have some mantras. Go. I like I like a good mantra. Um. I think a good mantra, this is, this is like a ha good in-between mantra for everybody. Okay, a good one is stack good days on good days. Not every day is going to be great, but there's good in every day. Wait, That's a long-ass long mantra, dude. I, I lost it's you. Just, you. Oh, we're talking <laughs> mantras, not no, 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 books. It's just, it's just stack good days on good days, but it means like... Stack good days on good like, days. Because if you're like, today's going to be a great day, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure. Yeah, this one's so a little over my good. head, but. <laughs> and then you stack another one, mm. and then you have a lot of good days. I get, I get what you're saying. That makes, that makes sense. sense. Yeah, it, it reminds me of um, uh, Major League, the movie, when it's like it's kind of, Belichick says something similar to it, where it's like, if you win, I forget what the movie Belichick says, we have to win one game five times instead of win yeah. five games. Yeah. Oh, I actually kind of have one similar to that is it takes, like my soccer coach would always say this, it takes eight seconds to score a goal, which is like, it's true. It's like whenever you're down, you're like, it just takes like eight seconds to score a goal. But like sometimes if you're having a bad day, like, and like, you know how like some one quick thing can just turn around real quick, which is so true. It's like, okay, like if it's like, if you're like in a bad mood, like just to stop the momentum, like it just takes eight seconds to like, you know? Isn't that kind of cute? No. Do you get I, it? I do the five second. I don't know what it's from. I think it's from oh. a movie, but like five seconds. Hitch. Give you five, yeah, give yourself To like hit seconds. on a girl? No, just go do anything. Oh. I, you, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. That's from, uh, is that the count to three? Is it a count to three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I gave myself or five. Count down from time. three. It's uh, We're the Millers. Oh, the Millers. Before, yeah. Before he kisses the girl. And yeah. then it's before he punches someone. 
Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen that one. You haven't oh. seen Rhythm Well, I've seen the movie. I just don't remember that, that scene yeah. itself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one, though. I like um, that. Right. While we're doing self-improvement, uh, Jackie has some things that uh, <laughs> she's been doing. Shrooms, for starters. Oh, yes. But that's not self-improvement. That's just like that to be more giggly. That's when having out. yourself on. But I feel like that's self-improvement. Yeah. Like, isn't, uh, isn't shrooms taking... I'm someone But, but I thought... Cause, so I started doing it because I wanted to do less alcohol and more shrooms. Like, uh-huh. I wanted to, like, just try and, like, drink less. But then I just, like, have the same amount plus shrooms. So I just get really <laughs> sloppy. <laughs> I'm really giggly. <laughs> and, um... Wait, how... Where really are you bad. getting your shrooms? Are you doing straight shrooms or, like, chocolate shrooms? Chocolate shrooms. And then it's shrooms. also, like, they don't have, like, a whole half a... Ca- so they're not, I've been having just, like, a whole half a candy bar a night, like, pretty much, like, doing Dude, this. Dude, don't fucking look at me in the face and say it like that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've been having a whole half a candy bar a night. Dude, I knock a half a candy bar out of bed before I get up in the morning. I'm still in bed when I'm eating my first half candy bar of the day. Maybe that's a, if you that's started a factual saying statement. the the mantras. Huh? Maybe if you started saying the mantras. I am saying that. Have yourself one. Okay. Have yourself a half a candy <laughs> yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, my point is just it all kind of backfired, but it's really fucking fun. I love it. Are you doing it like nightly? When I go out, yeah. I haven't ever tried it sober. You never tried it sober? Stream sober, no. I do show it sober basically every night. Yeah. Wait, what, what's the experience like? I don't know. I actually like I like the actual mushrooms. I have like the wham bars, like the things they sell in bodegas here. Yeah. Um, I have like those chocolate bars, and the, that it just me. I just feel like I get high. I don't really feel like I yeah. get like mushrooms high. I want to do really, like, like a guided meditation. Like, I guess I'm all like mental health. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but like I want to do like a guided like shroom like trip. You know, like I've never actually like like tripped on shrooms i i have a couple times and and i i always think i'm not and then i'm i start talking and people are like can you fucking hear yourself how are you arguing you're not i i I think it was it's my birthday maybe two years ago we were at my parents house huh are you seeing stuff yeah i like called everyone outside into the middle of a field Mm. and i was like you guys gotta like look at the way the earth curves and like you can you can literally see the the stratosphere or atmosphere or whatever and they're like are you really trying to fucking act like you're not high right now <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I, I agree with that I do think that you could see the curve the curve you, the- I mean like you're, I was 100% right I don't know if I was high I mean I know it was high but the uh, I don't know I, I do quite like mushrooms I've been, I've been doing self improvement I've been doing no drinking during the week and just a shitload of mushrooms and weed there's no way it's like that much better for you I'm sure it's like healthy for you or healthier but, like, there's no way it's that much better. I don't think it is either. Again, like, it, it's backfired. I think I'm drinking more plus shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I like, barely get home these days. Like, <laughs> it's just not, it's not it. Um, okay. Uh, you say uh, we have to start gatekeeping products again. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I, I just, like, like, everywhere on TikTok, I mean, love Alex Earl so much. Who's that? You, she's oh she's the Oklahoma girl. She's the no I don't think she's, she's the girl with the baseball guy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. And she's like the it girl on TikTok right now, and pretty much like everything she posts sells out like that. And so it's like, like I've been trying to get like half her products for like what a while kind of now. Products are they? Like makeup products. Like she's already has makeup stuff. How is that? No, 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 I thought no, she like popped off. No, like, no, like she'll literally just use something that like would be in Sephora, like not hers. She's not making money off it. Oh, she's definitely making she's, money. She's off making it. money she off like of it. She's like seventy-five sure. grand a post, I believe. Yeah. But there's like a makeup. What are we doing? <laughs> what? We're not. She'll post about it, and it's sold out everywhere. Everywhere, like, like, in it's not even just her. It's like every single now. It's like all, everyone ha- since Alex Earl, and like even before has been like doing like all these like makeup like routine TikToks and everything like that. And then like if they're big, it's like. It's all sold out everywhere. So I've been trying to get like uh, like new makeup for like I don't even know how long now, and I can't get anything because everything's fucking sold out. Do you, you agree with me on this, right? What's happening with like the stupid that everyone is getting mad at are like the nerds. Wait, come here. Like, I there was some like I think it was like Kim K or somebody posted about those like nerd clusters that everyone loves. The candy? Yeah, and they like don't care now for now those. By the way, nerds are garbage now you candies. Can't find, find them anywhere. So like yeah. people are posting. I didn't know about that. So think about like your absolute fit, like Sour Patch Kids. If some influencer went off and said like 
these Sour Patch Kids and they're just gone. You can't yeah. find them. It'd be stuff that was like in my like makeup routine or like even like clothes or anything. Like Uggs. You can't get Uggs anymore. Like you can't yeah. get like these. I just wanted like Uggs like for comfy shoes. These are knockoffs because like I couldn't figure out how to get any kind of other. You know, it's just like it's you nothing. Figure out how to get stores. Uggs. I, I didn't really look that hard. I was gonna say like, I I got a feeling I could find Uggs. Okay, pretty okay, quickly. okay. Yeah, whatever. I didn't. Look I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. Let's run a test. Can we start a clock, please, <laughs> okay. for a second? <laughs> Um, no, but like, do short, short, short chestnut Uggs. What size? Mm, eight and a half, nine. No, I'm like self-conscious. It's a nine, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> Got big ass feet, huh? <laughs> Jackie fucking flipper. <laughs> 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 I like how every time Kevin's gone, you come out with a new yeah. <laughs> the Italian I mean, sausage. I mean, I sweaty Italian and... sausage is the worst of it. Yeah, so sure. I don't think really that this much. Um, you're right. They are. I found a nine. Um, wait, did you say you're a nine? Mm-hmm. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I found him. Sometimes it's a nine point five. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> Bro, can you dunk? For the most, what is he like? <laughs> yeah. No, for the most part, for the most part, I'm a nine. I'm, the... I'm actually 8.5 to a nine. To a nine point, and a half. To 9.5. But but I'm I always get nines. But occasionally I'll throw in a nine point five. What about this that? Is, I don't even know why I'm like what? Why like like when you walk around like when you get out of the shower, have you ever seen like uh <laughs> like like when someone's like walking around the pool and they have like their <laughs> like you can hear like the wet the slap of their, their flippers? Is that what it's like when you get out of the shower? <laughs> perfectly normal size. Dude, it's dude. a perfect it's a perfectly normal size. Alright, Bigfoot. <laughs> what size what are you? What am I? I am a size twelve. No. What would that be in women's? I don't know, yes. It's a man's world. Um the uh yeah okay so anyway so you want to just start ha- stop having oh, products sell out I, yeah just just everybody keep keep their keep your shit to yourself if you like a product don't tell anybody <laughs> so you, so you think marketing and advertising should marketing be and advertising past. don't do it anymore don't do it anymore everybody stop be done with it be done with it yes. okay great time for an ad <laughs> you've got New Year's goals and HelloFresh is here to help you achieve them skip the grocery store and t- skip, skip the grocery store and take control of your time and budget with delicious recipes delivered right to your door fast and fresh recipes fast and fresh that's the important thing HelloFresh's latest line of meals features features robust flavors and filling portions and that can be ready in less than 15 minutes I before this ad read started I literally just said I can't wait to get home because I know I got the buffalo chicken cutlets uh, the kicking chicken cutlets tonight and I cannot wait to eat them you can enjoy taste and quality done quick with recipes like falafel power bowls seared steak and potatoes with bernays sauce southwest pork and bean burritos it is i basically if i can describe to you how i do my meals i do one chicken meal per week i do one pork or one steak meal and i always have one of the tacos because the tacos are quick it's like 15 20 minutes i i uh, just learned how to bake a chicken this weekend and i probably would have known earlier if i had done hell fresh you sure would have yeah yeah what 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 was your secret? I didn't actually bake the chicken, but I learned. But you just put I it in it. the oven. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but like I didn't know. Like it's like four hundred fifty degrees, fifteen minutes. It was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. I'm being quite honest. I was say like crazy simple. Like you hit the yeah. bake button on the oven, and then and that's that's how you bake a I chicken. <laughs> I was, I had always assumed that there was a lot more steps that went into it, and it's super like it's three like, or it's four. Like crazy simple. It's, yeah. it's you could make the argument it's easier than making a peanut butter and jelly. Um, but with HelloFresh, eating well in the new year can be stress-free and delicious with over 35 weekly recipes. They have the options you're looking for to help you achieve your goals. Choose calorie smart and carb smart recipes or even customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading your proteins or adding a protein veggie dish. Again, I'm going home like right now. It is, dude, it's late. It's six o'clock. I'm going home right now and I am, uh... I'm going to go eat some HelloFresh. So go to HelloFresh.com slash KFC21 and use code KFC21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's 21 free meals and free shipping with code KFC21 at HelloFresh.com slash KFC21. All right. Colleen, come please tell us your story. Colleen has a story that she told KB and KB said there's no way this is going to be interesting and I believe KB went on to say it's the most interesting thing he's ever heard in his life. He he said it was. I I said I have a cra- I have a crazy story for you. You can do this one. This one. Yeah. Um, and he was like, you know what? I don't think it's gonna be that crazy. And I was like, okay, just you wait. And let me preface this story by saying I made sure everyone's okay. 
at the end of the day, everyone's okay in this oh, story, but... Um, I don't like that preface. preface. <laughs> well, I just wanted to... I like, you know. I, like, I like the mind to go where it goes. Okay. Well, um, so I went to go get a new phone, and I just went into the AT&T um, close by the office, super small, like smaller than this room. That AT&T. one, like, like two blocks away? Or like uh, yeah, yeah, like on um, 23rd. And so I go in, it's just me and an employee, and then there was another employee helping, like, an elderly lady... Um, and then one girl came in behind me and her phone was completely broken. Um, so normal things happening, normal AT&T, you know, they're asking for a number, um, getting it switched. And the guy helping the elderly lady seemed to be helping her with like a very minuscule task. Like she was like trying to figure out something on her phone. So all of a sudden the employee that was helping the elderly lady like turned to the side and kind of screamed out, and everyone paused, and he started having a seizure. So this this employee then was having a seizure, and it was very scary. And he fell to the floor, and you have a wallet in his mouth. No, I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> you have a wallet in his mouth. You're not supposed to do that. You're what? not supposed to do that. No, that's you're absolutely not supposed to block the airway. They do that so you don't bite off their tongue. No, so, yeah, oh, that's that's, that's a myth. Oh, yeah, all right. Okay. Anyone ever has a seizure around me, I'm probably going to shove my wallet in your mouth. So <laughs> I recommend having it around someone else. Everyone's going to think you're just attacking a guy who's shaking on the ground. This was a room of people who didn't know what to do. So the the guy knocked the elderly lady on the ground as well. So there's two employees. They're helping the older guy and the elderly lady. The girl behind me's phone's dead. So I grab my phone. I call the ambulance. I run outside, I get a cop, I, like, this whole part of the story, like, not very funny, like, kind of scary, like, the guy was, like, nah, having good. a seizure. So, then we go inside. There's happened to be a cop right outside. Um, I mean, it's New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I, I, I literally saw a cop today. Sorry, we're not in lawless California. <laughs> but. I was gonna say, I literally saw a cop today, like, watch a taxi hit, like, a scooter guy and go, you guys good? And then just let them keep going. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So, and they were like slow moving, whatever. So they go inside. I By the time it's I. New York. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I get inside, like the guy who had the seizure was standing up. Like he was a little bit frazzled, but the older lady was sitting down. She seemed okay. But I went over and I said, hey, this is where the, the funny part of the story is. So I look at the elderly lady and I go, so, like, are you okay? Do you need somebody to come get you? And she just goes, I was getting help with my phone. And I thought she was, like, a little frazzled. Like, I was like, okay, I'll give her a second. I'll have somebody come get, like, help her in a second. So made sure everyone was okay. Go back over to the other lady. As like, this guy who was just helping her is getting wheeled out to, with the paramedics. And this elderly lady, I go, are you okay? Like, do you need someone to come in? She goes, I need help with my phone. <laughs> he was helping me with my phone. <laughs> Didn't give, like, did not care. <laughs> not even a single care in her, like, mind. She just sat there, was not leaving that AT&T until she got help with her phone. Did she get help with her phone? I don't know. <laughs> so, like, the girl behind me left. I was like, you know what? All, the, the employees were like, do you need, do you, like, need anything? Like, they were clearly just, like, so out of it. And I was like, no, I'm good. I'll come back. I was going to, like, wheel, I was going to offer to wheel this elderly lady to another AT&T because they were so out of it. And she just sat there. She, she's probably like a New York, like probably just seen anything. She just sat there and was like, "Well, can someone help me with my phone now?" <laughs> and the manager was just like, "Okay, uh, can you give us a second to like recuperate? Like we just went through this like <laughs> this crazy thing." So I that ha- I was in in AT and T for like ten minutes, and like that whole thing happened. But it was more of like the this elderly like New York lady like first crazy seeing somebody have a seizure and then this elderly lady just could not give like, i think and then you didn't even get any kind of discount or anything yeah they go back <laughs> the next day and i was like oh, may, i'm gonna go back to the same one maybe they'll be like hey you know she helped you're the out. hero from yesterday you're the hero and they were just like oh yes yeah, sweet thank you so that's gonna be eight hundred dollars <laughs> dude i think old people don't respect seizures i think like seizures are definitely on the bottom of the list of, of health scares i respect they don't respect? Uh-huh. They don't respect <laughs> that I Like, I don't really respect a seizure. I don't really. What do you mean you don't respect a seizure? Like, you have a seizure in front of me, I'm not going to stop my day. You got, like, a seizure is like... First of all, fuck. just never have a seizure on John. I think I think a seizure is like a... I don't know. Maybe it's because, like, my friend when I was a kid had seizures. And I was like, fucking weak-ass kid. 
<laughs> like seizures. You're having seizures. I got no time for you. So if you were in that AT and T, like if you were me in that scenario, would you have just been like, uh, I'll come back? Like, would you have just? No, 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 no. I mean, I'm not an asshole. I would have done. I'm sure what you <laughs> did, but like, I'd been like, I would like, I'm just like, someone's having a fucking seizure. Some dude probably take his medicine. I don't know. I guess he needs help. That I, I, I wouldn't be like, oh my god, what is happening? Like, <laughs> fucking seizure, idiot. Then. I think that um, has anybody ever had sleep paralysis before? I had it like once. Yeah. Okay, so like I think that like is that some form of like seizure? Like, because like when I do it, like I like I don't believe so. It's like my everything's cramping up, and like I'm like I'm like trying so hard to get out of like my position, and like I like can't like I'm like I screaming think... and like trying, but like you know. I yeah I know that's where the paralysis comes into play in the sleep paralysis. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it's not sleep seizures, <laughs> sleep paralysis. Yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The um, you wanted, wait one time <laughs> one time I had a seizure or not a seizure sorry sleep paralysis and I got raped by a ghost <laughs> like it wasn't actually but like in my <laughs> it was so scary sorry all of your faces it was so scary this ghost just. Kate, like, I was, so I woke up, like, in my bed, and I realized I couldn't move and everything like that, and I was like, oh, fuck, I know, like, demons are about to come. Sure enough, ghost, like, whooshes from, oh, God, whooshes from, like, the top of my bedroom, and then you get the rest. Well, <laughs> I, I, I don't know that I do, Jackie. I, 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 I get, man, this is, yeah, this, this is, is <laughs> tough to say. I guess I have an idea of what a, a regular... <laughs> Human raping looks like. It was only like what does a ghost <laughs> raping? It was only like um like three pumps. It was fine. The ghost was a three pump job. <laughs> 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 no, like, hey, Jackie, I, this, <laughs> this 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 sleep paralysis raping, and with Jackie yelling at ghost, like you can't even fuck good dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't like he Is that was all you got, you little bitch? <laughs> 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 it wasn't like he like put my size nines up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie tried to trip him out of the room, but in front of him, but she tripped. No, he just like, he just, like disappeared after three bumps. Like he didn't like he didn't like finish. Was he, like, did he say anything? No, no, he was all business. <laughs> <laughs> Had his way with me. <laughs> Did he though? What? Did he have his way with me? <laughs> I don't think he got any enjoyment out of it. He was three pumps. It's Anyways. A, well, that's what they say about most rapings there. It's a power trip more than yeah, it is for sexual trip. gratification. Yeah, exactly. That is what they say. Isn't it? <laughs> um, anyways, so I just thought that was a nice little thing to share. How, like, how, I guess like, Kevin kind of does this with me all the time <laughs> yeah. where he's like, how have you never brought this up before? But I this, is this a recent thing? <laughs> no, no, um, no. This happened. Um, I suppress. <laughs> like the ripe age of like fifteen. No, not fi so. No, no, not fifteen. But uh -huh. I was in my. I was in my. It was like eighteen, nineteen. Okay. For some reason, that makes it better. I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Oh, she's no. an adult woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it was good. At least it wasn't statutory. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, no, it couldn't be statutory. It's even when you're underage, it's still just regular rape. Oh, is it? Well, if you're if you're consenting to it as a as a, well, is, you can't yes. consent. What is statutory? What is statutory? Statutory is like someone who's like 18 sleeps with someone who's like 16 or something. Oh, like that. got it, got it, got I it. Think. I'm just like, thinking of, I'm just I think. I think it's when when an un, quote unquote underage person consents, which I don't think is possible. So I actually don't really understand what statutory rape is because if you're underage, you can't consent. So how would it become you consented? Uh huh. I think it's if you're in a relationship, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're okay. in a relationship with someone, I don't got fucking it, know. Got it, got it. And I think that's a nice badge of honor to have. I yeah. don't know what statutory rape technically <laughs> is. You think if you do know what it is, like, Look at imagine you. if I just fucking like busted it out. I was like, actually, here's what it is. Like Article Nine. Here's the yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, all right, fucking. My weirdo. lawyer actually said that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the um, Transformers Four movie with Marky Mark? Did you, did you ever watch that? No. There's a part in that where like the daughter is dating a guy who's out of college, and he whips out a laminated note of like the law the romeo and juliet law and like hands it to the father because he's 20 and she's like 17 it is what so fucking loose for michael bay to just slip in there <laughs> where it's like you didn't need her to be that like i get mark mark's protective he always is like we didn't need this it that is, is a, wild it's yeah. a very very peculiar line. <laughs> 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 nah, my, like you said, my lawyer printed this out for me. Yeah, um, you're on all the um, right side of stuff today. I'm okay. You don't like you don't know anything about statutory rape. Yeah, it's a good day for you. 
<laughs> Zuba Zoo. Good day for you. Hey, let's have yourself one. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Jackie, you hosted this weekend. Oh yeah. Um, I don't have much to say about this. I just I hosted a friend, and hosting friends sucks. I, I, I don't. Like... Why do you think it sucks? I I quite like hosting. You do? Well, like I mean, like I think maybe the experience. I don't with like me being different. around people for too long. I agree with that whole. Dude, how about this? Think... This weekend, my fucking I was I was up skiing with my family. And my sister was telling me that, like, this week was the first time she's been alone since September. What? Oh, yeah. Because she's had a baby. Oh. And, like, like this week the baby went out with his, his father and my sister's husband. Um, and uh, she was like, I just took, like, a four-hour shower because they were gone. It was, like, it was the first time I'd been alone since September. What? That's crazy that that makes me like i i had one of those moments recently because like i recently moved in with my girlfriend and it was just like a matter of i didn't realize like i haven't been alone and i was sitting in the apartment by myself and i was like oh whoa this is fucking weird and it's like it's nice (laughs) i don't know how people do it It, like how how like couples stay together for that long which is like you you can love someone as much as you can but you're like god damn it what the fuck are you doing here right now? My mom's always like, if your dad didn't like go on work trips all the time, like I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what, if we would have made it. I think my, my mom said that. I might even said on the show where she, I was like, what are you gonna do when he retires? And she's like, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Like and she goes, I see him the perfect amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I don't want to see him any more than what I see him now. That's I like um, what? Oh, I was gonna say when I was at home, my my sister will just she still lives at home. My older brother, like my entire family, is in one house. Which when I'm there for a week, I'm like, I love you guys, but I'm gonna fucking yeah. kill you all. And my sister will just be like, I'm gonna go get a coffee, and then she's gone for two hours, <laughs> just driving around. She's like, she's like, I just need a break. I, I my mom has said that too. If when my, when we were growing up, if my dad had actually gotten milk every time he went out to get milk. <laughs> We'd still be drinking that. Yeah. <laughs> like we, would have, we would still have enough milk left really? over from that time. Yeah, you would always be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some milk. <laughs> I like when I when I lived with um, friends. I like because I just like I get so like drained by people so easily that like I would have to. It would especially like living with girls. Like every time I would try and go, be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go like get groceries. They'd be like, oh, I'll come with you. Or, like every time I like go on a walk, they'd be like, oh my god, I feel like walking now too. I'd be like, I'm gonna. I would literally like get so mad because like everybody would tag along with me. So then I just start. I was like, you guys, every Sunday, I'm gonna just have a me day. I'm gonna have a day. Have, You're have yourself one. One. I'm gonna have myself one, <laughs> and nobody's gonna tag along. It's nothing personal, but like Sundays, don't fucking talk to me. And so like all throughout college, every Sunday, I would like just go and I would like not talk to anybody and I would drive, I would do groceries, I would just walk. It was the best thing ever. But I had to like establish that they really didn't get it at first. They were really <laughs> I'll come on. That is... like work from home couples do it. Dude, that that was like like during the pandemic was yeah. for sure where Wild. you you go home and you'd be like, "Wow, oh, come on, man. Come on, man." <laughs> like, you've been outside yet? Like you got to be kidding me, dude. The that I I know my parents in particular struggle with that. I think Kevin, I actually, we were talking about it when we were skiing this weekend. Um, Kevin was telling me, I told us, he said it on the show. Yeah. His the, lawyer. The right? lawyer's yeah. line was like, uh, marriage is for breakfast and dinner, not for lunch. Oh, like, yeah. If you're, if you're eating with your spouse, like it's probably not going to go much longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The, uh, that reminded me though, that this weekend when I was skiing, I was like, I was at a bar. First of all, dude, this guy. Actually, you know what? This is how the whole conversation came up when we were, because we were up at, we were at Mount Snow. And I was at Mount Snow this weekend. You were at Mount Snow this weekend? Yeah. I, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Very weird. Yeah. Um, the, uh, dude, I would have fucking given you a ride or something. I, I had no clue that you were going up. <laughs> um, the, uh, but we were at Mount Snow and we were at, we were at the Bull Wheel, which is the bar yeah. on the top of the mountain. And for two days in a row, Friday, no, Saturday. <laughs> I love, this is like an episode of Sunny. You two were just crossing paths. Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing all the uh, Saturday, so it, it rained Friday, so we didn't ski Friday, but ski Saturday, Sunday. And Saturday, I went up to the bar. I probably went up there at like 1130 or something like that. Mm. And we actually stayed a pretty good deal because um, it, was, it was so packed Saturday. Mm, like it sure. was not, it was not very fun. I and also I think, yeah. I think Mount Snow was kind of a, it's obviously a smaller mountain, so I think a lot of people who go there aren't particularly great skiers. 
So then that becomes like you're on a fucking trail and like someone doesn't know what they're doing. It gets a lot more stressful. So me and my brother are like, fuck this. I'm just going to the bar. Um, and there was a dude sitting at the bar for the three hours I was there. Mm-hmm. And then he was, he was there when I got there. He was there when I left. Mm-hmm. And then I went back to the bar Sunday to grab a beer. This one was a quicker. I probably just grabbed like a beer or two for lunch. He was there when I got there. He was there when I left. <laughs> And we were like, this dude just tells his wife, like, yeah. going skiing for the day. <laughs> he, goes, he takes a lift to the top, fucking drinks at the bar all day, and then he rides down. <laughs> that's his day. I was like, this is a fucking legend move. <laughs> he had an old bay hat on. And actually, I ended up on the bus with him uh, at the end of the day yesterday. And he was definitely had a couple drinks in him. And he just kept going, I'm the guy in the old bay hat. Because he was wearing a helmet at this point. <laughs> Um, but awesome. the, another person I talked to there was a former ski uh, instructor, mm-hmm. like a ski uh, ski rescue. Mm-hmm. Dude, I didn't realize. Like, I, I was talking to this guy not for a long time, but let's, let's say I talked to him for a half hour. Um, at, it wasn't at the Boat Wheels at a different bar in town, and he was just telling me about like being a ski rescue guy. Mm-hmm. Dude, he's had sixteen people die on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think of like ski rescue as like I don't know. Like I think of like out cold, where like you know, you're kind of just fucking around, and having a good time. I guess those are more like the like uh, like like ski instructors, like mm. the schools, the actual the actual rescue people. But like he said, he said he's had I think 16 deaths. Some of them were like like their brain matter was just exploded on the snow. God, I was like, what? My dad, my, did, gra- my oh. grandpa was ski patrol. For ski patrol, that's ski patrol for. for 50 years, and like I would be, and my grandma was like the nurse that took care of everybody. So and I would be with them at all times. I've seen multiple dead bodies. Just, what? Yeah. what? Yeah, and like just like coming in and like I mean bloody, gross. What were you doing that they were just bringing dead hey, bodies what? by you? Well, they, they were. I mean, not dead bodies, like people that were probably on their like, yeah. Bad to go. That explains yeah. a lot about you. And then like I would just hang out in the patrol room, the ski patrol room, the whole time, and like you would just like oh I, I, see, would, I see. I would get kicked out whenever it was like really bad. But, yeah. Like, Go go sit in the snow. This guy's about to die. <laughs> Multiple times, like I like know, like confirmed, like oh that guy, he yeah, didn't make it. Like God. those, they they live. That's kind of crazy life. Like my dad watching. does search and rescue, and he like he. Bro, what does your dad? Your dad does. <laughs> I, 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 I've asked this. Yeah. I know. Well, this is he's a banker. I don't know why he <laughs> he, he does this like on the side. But he, like every weekend, he'll come back and like uh, he'll be like dead. Dead. <laughs> like he'll, dude, this he, guy was saying like they back. have their call is. Bring a hefty bag, because oh. it, it means like it's so messy. You're gonna have to clean up stuff. Yeah. And he he was like, he was retired, but he's like he's like I got like later in life. I was like 65 or whatever, and they're like I'm still getting bring a hefty bag calls. And I'm like, how about you guys send one of the young guys? Like <laughs> I can't keep dealing with death. Yeah. He said he was explaining like it was actually interesting in the wake of like the Demar Hamlin stuff too, where he was talking about like I for, dude I forget how we went we went zero to sixty. We were sitting in the bar, and he's like, finally got an off day. I was like, hey, what do you do? And, like, this guy was telling me about dead bodies within 30. Like, he, was like, he was like, thank God someone asked me. I just wanted to talk about dead people. But, like, he was talking about, like, doing chest compressions. And he said the, the smell never leaves, the smell of death. Because he's like, he's like, they'll puke, and you'll snap their ribs, and they'll shit themselves. Oh, God. And that smell never gets out. And I was like, all right, I don't know. How did we get here, man? This is <laughs> it happened so fast. Was... My dad said like the most like traumatizing one. He like there was they were looking for like this little girl and like they like pulled Ooh. the suitcase out of the lake and she was all chopped up. No yeah. way! Yeah. What? Yeah. But yeah, no, she um and like he said like he was like people passed out when they like opened it up. Yeah, I fucking bet. Jiminy Christmas. What? That. Sounds like it sucks. Does your dad get paid for this, or is it just a no, hobby? No, it's no? a hobby. Yeah, really? I was kind of joking. All. No, no, no. He gets not. He does not get paid for it. Just a good Samaritan. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. He, he's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> that yeah. is loose. Yeah. Um. All right. What is this fake scar girl? Oh. Okay. So, and Colleen, like, maybe you can help, like, explain too. So, there's this girl. On TikTok. And I I feel bad even saying this because she's been getting a lot of hate and like what she's like at the end of the day, she's like an eighteen year old girl, like whatever. But she at one point, like I guess you gotta see. So like at one point she definitely had a scar at some point, but like then you realized it was like gonna get her clout. Yeah, like play this. You could like so she has a scar on her face, but like her scars obviously changed and now it looks like it's like an eyebrow stamp or something that's on her. 
Like you could see at the end there. I, that's but what well, I, I so showing. you got to start from the beginning. And Tell so everyone's you. like, it's fake. It has to be fake. Like right. This girl, so then, she, yeah, she's known to be trolling. No, no, no. But like she's like people are like. I, it's not trolling like people like she literally keeps trying to like convince everybody and like she did one where like she scrubs it off but she like barely scrubs and if you look really close you can kind of see it come off but like there's like you see like there i think like this is one but i don't think that she's trolling i think she's like so are you saying the scar is real or fake? it's real well she's saying it's real but like it's not i don't know she's saying like that's like I would say this video does more than anything to make me think it's fake. It's fake. Like, it looks... It, that video I mean, was crazy. I mean, that, it just doesn't... But she's like, this <laughs> is how it's scar. You want to clean, like... Just, so now I think maybe it's just like a bit and she's rolling with it. But, like, she keeps being like, you guys... So she got famous because she has a scar? Yeah. And then she keeps being like, guys, like... I was going to say, I was thinking when you said this, it was another scar girl. I've seen a different girl with a scar on yeah i know the one that goes there's a lot yeah. of scar girls like yeah. people are, i don't know it's like people are using for clout like on tiktok i don't know why she's got half hundred and seventy thousand followers. Yeah, followers i don't know uh and the so then like the reason why i don't think it's like a troll anymore is like she was like crying because this girl mads lewis like made this tiktok about her and like and she was like it's like people are making fun of my trauma scar or whatever but like i don't know what I'm happened just, like, to her scar I don't know. I don't think she's ever come out and said. I think it was like something to do with I don't know. But you know who's got a big scar on their face and is very embarrassed about it? Tina Fey. What? Yeah. What kind of? She. I. I, I like think it's something. One? It's something like why? Like I believe like she grew up like in Pennsylvania, and it was like something like someone like sliced her face as a child. Jesus. Oh really? Yeah. Why does Miles Teller have um, car like accident? A horrible. Car oh accident. really? Yeah. Oh god. The poor baby. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the reason. Like, I think that Divergent series never finished, and it was like partially because they had to delay filming because that happened to him, and then they were just like, "We'll never." Oh, I might be thinking of Dylan O'Brien. Oh, he also was in a nasty accident. So it's Zach Efron. They're going through all the hotties. <laughs> <laughs> Miles Teller is literally. Uh, <laughs> Fuck Mary Carroll. Kill those three. Oh my god, I can't. Well, marry Miles Teller. He's all over my vision boards. <laughs> Are you vision making vision boards? I'm a, I've been making vision boards. Oh, I've been making vision boards. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. God what? damn it, dude. <laughs> Pull them up. No. Yes. No. No, you no. Have, Bro, you can't say you have a vision board and not... Like, like, you have it on your phone right now? It's on my computer. Yeah, <laughs> let's see it. Let's, like, like I mean... Okay. This is, like, like cut the rest no, no, of the no, show. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about Jackie's <laughs> vision board. I'm not, I'm not going to show you my vision I hope board. you yes, know. Yes, you have to. Jackie, I'll show you we're one all of my making vision boards now. Okay, okay, okay. I'll show you... We're going to hang them up in the studio. I'll show you one. This is so embarrassing. I want you to know I was like doing this with friends. So it's not like it's like just me like, you know, like dreaming by myself. Like, so this is so this is like like a, this is for real. Well, like I you... just figured to start off the new year. Like, you know, sometimes you got to you got to just figure out what you want. And and this is you. And, uh, uh, is this vision board? Is this made on Pinterest or is this like? Uh, it's just it on Photoshop. But you just, like, you just, it, it's so not, that that I feel like you're putting more effort into it. It's not. Yeah, I love it, but it's not like. For, no, I'm not gonna show it to you. You uh, you literally mm, have to show it to me. No. <laughs> yes. I'll show you parts. No, show me the vision board. No, 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 what no. could possibly be on it that is like so embarrassing? No, no, no. So like, there's some. So like, these are the outfits that I want. Like the kind of vibe I'm going for. Wait, so is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch. Why me. do you have Don't Hamptons on? <laughs> because I want to go to the Hamptons. Shut the fuck up! Oh my I, god, I, I that is so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, 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 okay, 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 I wanna, I wanna, um, preface, like, anything else. <laughs> you wanna do this? Oh, wait, let's see. <laughs> so, a ski trip, this looks fun. Like, yeah. so, like, I, I honestly don't know what you're so embarrassed for. I don't yet. know, I just... This all seems, like, pretty, pretty we, solid so can, far. Can I at least hold it? No, no. Ski trip, out. but here's the deal, like... I can't see any of these outfits. Like, they're all like half I know, cut off. I know, and like none of them are really like great outfits either. But like, I don't know. I oh, four hundred thousand followers <laughs> on TikTok. I, I, oh, on TikTok and two hundred thousand on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's what. I thought that was like one of those things that I didn't really want to show. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. 
Can anyway, you? <laughs> I mean, that's that's. It, I, I thought it was going to be so much worse than that. Oh, okay. like, it's, well, then it's <laughs> it's fine. It, <laughs> it is. I I also I just don't think. I think it's mediocre. I don't think you're setting the sights very high. <laughs> I don't. Like, why was it done you, with it? You want to go? That was just one. That was just one. You want to go three hours east, <laughs> <laughs> and you want to go three hours north. I'm just saying. At some point this year, you want to travel six total hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like I want, like um, the vibes of those. Tri- it doesn't even have to be those trips. It's just like I want. <laughs> and and some- also, you want some H and M clothes. You are like like that vision board was. This is why I didn't want to bring up the vision board. This is more depressing than anything. <laughs> I'm working. I'm, I'm working. I'm working on dying. the vision board. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god! Like, you're just like Jackie. You can get this what, all you, done in a week. <laughs> in a weekend, dude. You really Your can. wildest dreams. What do you hope for in 2023, no, no. Jackie's like to, to swim in the ocean and to see snow. You know what I realized? I did not submerge myself in water at all in 2022. There was at no point in 2022 was I in water. How is that possible? I don't know why I was never in. I, maybe because I don't know how to swim very well, and so I avoid <laughs> it. But like, yeah, it's a pretty good reason to not <laughs> swim in water. But like normally, <laughs> normally I like I will submerge myself like once or twice a year. Zero. Why are you saying it like that? I don't that? know. I, I just more mean like like there was just a no point. Like, like, you, we call it going in the water. I know. I know but I'm thinking like normally I will submerge myself. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know, I, I don't know. I'm using submerge, but like it's just like my point was like. You know, I probably dipped a foot in or two, but like I, to really submerge yourself is something. Did different. we swim when we went to my house? Yeah, but uh, I didn't. I didn't like. I don't think I swam. I think it was just you. Yeah. I think I dove in at one point. Yeah, you definitely did. Like in the morning. Yeah. So you just didn't swim. I was like, I don't really feel like being in a bathing suit on my, around my bosses. Very <laughs> 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 you know? concerned. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So what else goes on the video? Like. <laughs> So that, so I'm still working on so it. So yeah, you're still working on it. So, what so that, those it? were like the basics. So like, um, like uh, I also want like um, what else? I don't know. This is why I kind of stopped with the vision board. <laughs> I want um, you know, more money. <laughs> money. I want um. Yeah. So no, you're really ramping it up then. <laughs> I just I don't know. You're putting me on the spot, and then you're gonna make fun of everything that I want in life, sure, like how you yeah. already have. But like, and but like you're I'm not. not but I you're, swear you, to God, I'm you not gonna go to the fucking Hamptons this year. Should, and I'm not gonna do the ski trip specifically because now it's embarrassing if I go to the Hamptons. <laughs> like, uh, now it's like it'll be like, look at her, she's achieving her dreams. <laughs> <laughs> she went to East Hampton. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more like the vibe of that trip. Like, did you get did you get the vibe of what I wanted from? The I Hamptons didn't trip? get the vibe. I don't think you have the best vision board. <laughs> I don't think like. What would you put on your vision board? Oh heavens, uh, not much really. Oh, um, so much you talk like an eighty year old grandma. Like, oh, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> um, the if I had to make a vision board, like what I want in twenty twenty three, um, probably some sold out theater shows, oh. um. A trip to Europe with Burt Kreischer. Okay. Um, I, want, I want this podcast to just... Millions. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought, you, I thought, I thought you were going to say end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that might be me finishing your thought. <laughs> like, if it's up to me, this podcast stops. <laughs> um, the uh, I, I've been thinking of getting a car this year, maybe. Oh. Just because it's such a pain in the ass. Like, I, I, it doesn't make sense. Because it, I don't, I don't, I actually do leave. I, I leave the city like every fucking week. I, I always say I don't really travel that often, and but like I'm never here on the weekend. I'm I'm gone. Yeah, you really never. Are. I'm always gone. So like, it might actually like you know how much money I spend on trains. You are always on a train. You're always in a hospital or on a train. <laughs> 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 the I'm I mean like trains because I also don't buy them. Like people, you buy them ahead of time. Yeah. But like it's like two hundred fifty bucks each way. It's been like, it's been like five hundred bucks on a train per weekend, which I think two week if I go away two weekends, it probably yeah. makes sense to have a fucking car payment and a, a parking spot here. What um, kind of car would you get? I don't know. Nothing like crazy. What kind of car? Let me think. I I actually don't even know. I I, I wouldn't. I I think when I was younger, I wanted an Audi. I can see you would in a Bronco. In a Bronco? No, not the new ones. Like an old Bronco. An sure. Old Bronco. I want like a, like a fucking Woody. 
I don't know. I don't know. Like the wood panel? Yeah. Hell like, yeah. Like, like the, the, like Plymouth? The, <laughs> like the fucking the, the station wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, the thing with that is like that would be dope to keep at a house with that yeah. I had or something like that. But like that's not very realistic to drive to yeah. Massachusetts from New York like multiple times a month. That is exactly the kind of car that you would get. I could totally see that. No, I want the station wagon version. Not, not, not just the. Uh... Yeah, one of these bad boys right <laughs> no, here. Significantly less cool. That one's from really cool to really lame. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, those things are no, lame, those are bro. Sick. It's that one right there. That white one. That's what my mom had when we were kids. Yo, they, is that the one where the seat faces the back? Of the trunk? Oh yeah. yeah, Dude, that's the one with bro. That fucking oh, the, the rocket, the, the yeah. stop rocket, dude. Dude, we were in like fifth grade, maybe even early, maybe even younger. We animated this. That can't yeah. be illegal. Yeah, <laughs> I was in I was in fifth grade, I think, and I had just had my first kiss on the playground. Okay, um, nice. and it was with this girl, and let's call her Samantha. That's not her real name. And do you really need a? I don't know. I always, I always, I never use people's real names because I don't know if they want to be in it. Like, yeah, I don't know. Nice, nice, nice. I, I make up names all the time. I make up names for like my best friends uh, who are well aware that they're often in the show sometimes. <laughs> um, but the uh, we were at a park in Fall River, and I actually I don't even remember who climbed up. One of us climbed up. One of us was sitting at the top of a slide. One climbed up to kiss. Like no, you know what it was? It was yeah. Okay, so she was going down the slide. And then, like, we, like, grabbed each other. And then she, Aww. like, crawled back up so we could kiss in the slide without anyone else seeing. Okay. And so then we get, and I'm, and they, like, they're very innocent. Wait, and, so she was going down the slide, but you. We were, like, we were both, like, like, sitting. In the slide. And, like, we knew, like, our parents were there. We had friends there. Like, so it was, like, we can't kiss here. So we have to kiss, like, inside the slide. So it was basically, right. like, I was, like, as in as it could be holding her up so we could kiss. Um, it's very romantic for you, huh? That, yeah, I don't know why that's... <laughs> yeah, that one's really getting jacked. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so, so, I, and, like, it's, that seems super innocent and, like, well, like, two kids who don't really know what they're doing because, again, it was our first kiss. And then we get in the back of my mom's fucking Crown Vic, whatever, I have no idea what kind of car it was, the wood panel station wagon, and, uh, we're sitting in the back seat because the, the back seats face out. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So you're, like, facing behind us. And I had stomp rockets in the car. Like it's a toy you played with where it's just like oh, this rocket and you stomp it it's flying up. Yeah. This yellow like fucking tube, this red tip, and like these little like fins at the bottom. And she just looks me dead in the eye and starts sucking the stomp rocket. Right. <laughs> like it's a dick. And you guys I was made like, an animation of this? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what? I don't the? know if that one ever made it to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember being like horrified, being like, oh, like I I I didn't know what sex was. Wait, sorry, how old are you? Like fifth grade. So, but like I knew enough of what sex was where I was like, I know what she's doing. Yeah. And then like I, I didn't know what age people had sex. So I was like, is she gonna try and fucking do that to me right now? So I like I was so And your mom's in the front? My mom was in the front, yeah. And so I was so scared. We had to stop at like my dad's office to get something. So I, I go up into his office and coming down, I got my finger stuck in the elevator. Where it was like, I don't even remember what happened. I think I was just trying to play cool, like leaning on the elevator door like that. Yeah. And then when it opened, I kind of just like stayed on it and my hand went into the elevator and I started crying my eyes out. And, uh, in front of her? Right in front of her, yeah. <laughs> Never had to worry about her sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Nip that problem in the bud real fast. <laughs> where is she now? Uh, now I actually think she lives by where my parents, I actually might have been the pandemic. I was like out on a run. And she was pushing a stroller. And I was like, whew, dodge a bullet there. Um, <laughs> um, which is still so weird to be like, uh, during the pandemic, I was what, 32? Like 32 years old and be like, man, you fucked up, huh? <laughs> You're a 32 year old with a baby, you fucked up. <laughs> no, I think about that all the time. <laughs> Are you not pro choice? <laughs> Did you marry a devout man? What is happening? Why do you have a kid? <laughs> no, like, oh, right. like, people want kids at this age. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> like, oh. like, I remember rubbing, I was like, ooh, poor girl. And I was like, never mind, I'm sure she's happy and healthy. And <laughs> but yeah, I think she lives by where my, my parents have moved, but I think she lives by where my parents used to live. If you want to At least ahead. she was walking over there one day. You go check the group chat. I just sent the, <laughs> the Stop Rocket animation. Oh, God. 
<laughs> yeah, you know loose what? with Bro, the you made her a ginger in this? <laughs> in my I didn't fifth make grade it. Dick sucked by gingers. <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> Aren't you a ginger? I'm not, I'm not a ginger. I have red hair. It's different. Yeah. It's like That's it. exactly the definition of a ginger. No, it's not. It a is. ginger is like pale with like very red hair. I have like fucking, uh, first of all, I have blonde hair. Um, <laughs> but it's like, I, 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 would, I would describe my hair color as like Prince Harry hair, where it's like, it's a redhead, but not gross. Yeah. Nobody would ever describe you as gross. <laughs> <laughs> the color itself is. Okay, but he's, he's a blatant he, redhead. He is a lot more red than I thought he was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, he's a lot more that's red. Like a, that's like but then, definition. Like, there, there was another one down there where he. I guess this is pretty comparable to what my color is. Ginger person. This man has red hair? Like, is, that, is that what my hair looks like? Uh, no, I'll I'm give you red. that. I'll give you that. You're less red, but... I feel like that one's pretty close. Really? That, I think that you're one. That, that one's close, but it's still more red. Yeah. You're ambiguous. I am, yeah. <laughs> Got that ambiguous hair color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh... Uh, racially ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we're going to do some ATI submissions. People have sent in some new ones. I think we are going to work on an ATI pack um, for a new one because it is still one of the best sellers in the Barcelona store, and we are stupid and we don't promote it. Um, so let's do some ATI submissions. So we have a new form to submit Am I the Asshole questions. Uh, if you want to get yours in, it'll be in the link in here. Uh, let me do the little four box thing. This isn't an Am I the Asshole question, but... Do you think that everybody in their life has stubbed their toe at least once? What the fuck? Kind of, well, yeah, yeah, dude. But, By the time they are five. But but that's so weird that I I don't know why. It's just like every single person. Without it's a shared question. experience that every single person has fucked up like that. Yes. But that's that makes me think like the way like the world Bro, has think just. Think about how big your feet are. Think about, think, about, think, about, think, about, think, about, think about how not used to walking you are on those fucking flippers. <laughs> like, that's what everyone has to deal with. Like, you're like, whoa, this is my feet group today. Ow, fucking kick that. Or, ow, kick the bed frame. Ow, I mean, I stub my toe. I stub my toe once a month. Yeah, you, but, but every single person, like you. You think there's like someone out there who's just so nimble and live that they. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. And that's. That I do know. Somebody. I do know. No. 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 Really? Yes. That makes me think, like, again, like, there's, like, some kind of code in the way of the world that everybody must stub their toe what or whatever. What do you whatever. watch? What do you, like, what do you do? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know. Well, your, your simulation, your code, your... Yeah. What does this stuff mean? What do you mean? What does it mean? Like, what does it mean? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean that there's a code in like in like in I an think, algorithm think, in the world? I think that the world yes. or I think or the what about world this? Is an algorithm is one algorithm. It, that's like known. That's like the the it's whatever not known. the pattern that there that pattern forty seven. What? What? <laughs> oh, I can't think of it. What's a pattern? The name of the like the, the pattern. Fibonacci the Fibonacci sequence. sequence? The Fibonacci sequence. Yeah. But it's like everything. It just makes sense if everything was just like a literal code. Like everything has patterns. This is, this is why. This is why we need to just – you need to limit your screen time. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you – what? so you watch – And this is based – back in my coding days, you kind of have to have oh known – You kind of have to have known how to code to understand it a little bit. But when you break everything down, like it just makes sense. Like the way that they're, like everything is a Did pattern. Did you code or play soccer for longer? Like played soccer for okay. longer. Okay. <laughs> yes. they come up. A lot each. Do they? No, yeah. you guys didn't even know about the coding shit. Until yeah, the coding was new. Coding was new. <laughs> okay, so about. so in in your head, there is someone in control of all this. No, it's no. just an algorithm. I think it's like the way, like it's like it's just an algorithm, and we think of it as like if it has to be a computer, but I think it's just there. And the algorithm, the, like the universe, is like the point of the universe is that this whole algorithm. Every single scenario has to play out, and so right now we're in the midst of like the algorithm, like playing at every single. Is this is this Andrew Tate stuff? No, no. Oh my god, I hope not. It's Isn't so, that his thing? Isn't the that matrix, the Matrix? Yeah, the Matrix. So. Oh. All all this is just. Well, the then same. you got this from me because I've had this before. Andrew Tate, I've had this theory. This, this is this is what well, the unfair thing about these theories that you people get from your TikToks or whatever. I am becoming an old man. Yeah, and, yeah, I, and, yeah. I don't, yeah. and I don't No, this, was, this is like but, when I'm high. I like, I get, I understand the universe and like it makes sense. But I can't combat it. 
I know. And it, That's an unfair fight. I can't I can't be like, well, it's not. But well, I'm just telling you, just take my word for it. Just trust me on this one. It's right. Oh, okay, but like you can do whatever you want right now. Are you saying like wouldn't the algorithm be in control of that? Wouldn't the algorithm take away free will? Yeah, but it's it's yes. But it's like in this so it's like Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think like okay also okay like i also like and i haven't fully figured out maybe there's somebody in this okay i'm sorry i know that nobody cares about this but no i care very much okay, okay, I, okay. I care what I goes on that think, stupid like, ass brain i think like we are technically robots and like when you think about it it's what like, do you mean we're technically <laughs> how could we see you're using words that you can't use no, no no you can't say we're technically robots we're definitively not robots well i'm saying like i do think it's a simulation i just don't know if anyone's technically in control of the, ro the simulations but like when you think about it it's like you could easily code like people are like oh robots don't have emotions but like emotions are just chemical whatever's in your brain so you go like if stub my toe equals sad you know like then like if stub my toe then coding sad. camp was you know? a waste of money it feels like <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to break it down for the less you know that's the layman but so then, so then it's just like it's like at the end of the day, so it's like we just we're all just these like machines, and like we think that we have free will, but like really we're just like all it's all part of a code, and it's like oh I want. But see, to they, they, but like I do have free will. I can do what I want right now. You don't. You don't though. Yes, oh, I no, can. No, no, you don't because you think that you do. But it's like, it's uh, like, but I can. But it's like, it's like everything up until this point is leading you to be like to do this. Like, oh, like I have the hand motions because at some point you saw something when you were younger that made you want to like have hand motions that like whatever like this. I like, hate my hand motions. Okay, well. Your body doesn't because you do them. So it's like, what do you mean you hate your hand motion? I don't like how I do that. So maybe that, I guess that might be an argument that's pro you. Yes. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> because you're, it, we're robots. And then, and it's like, like even like picking up this coffee and like, or this tea and drinking, I don't know why, whatever, and drinking it, it's like, because I'm thirsty, you know? So it's like, it, like, it just like everything happens because of something previously before. And so it's like you take in the same way a computer takes in information to, have the next step is the same way that we take in information it's like it's like exactly how it's like we we go to sleep uh, like we operate the same as computers we go to sleep <laughs> what, what computer program had me do that <laughs> <laughs> Was it worth it? Was it worth it? I think so. <laughs> I'm soaking wet. <laughs> I think like maybe you're like a misstep in the, in the code. Like some kind of bug happened with you, but like you're an antivirus coming. <laughs> <in. laughs> that was so alarming. Like how red see you. Like I, I got so concerned. I was like, is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <sighs> It's just, I don't know how. I feel like you're gonna keep trying to do things to prove that like it's, it's not whatever. But um, but yeah, that's that's my theory. Okay, I think I think I just proved it. <laughs> no, you did. Because everything is like up until that point, you're programmed to be a dick, and so then you're gonna do that to like, you know, to to prove your theory. My theory is I can do what I want. No, you can't. Bro, I just did it. You, did you really want to do that? I did want to do that. Are you happy that you did that? I am I, I am not sad that I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyways. I'm um, shocked you haven't joined a religious cult. You're just describing religion like, oh, I, in so I, many I, ways. I think like um if I if I kept doing drugs, I would absolutely like really have a psychotic this is what I was saying before. Like I would have a psychotic break and join a cult. I'm I'm like I'm like one one acid trip away from joining which call? Any of them. Whoever takes me first. <laughs> you, you come to me with a call. I'm going to join your call. <laughs> hey, I, don't, I don't know. Like, would, like, would you join a religious cult? Or like, a, I guess not, all cults I'm are kind of. Religion, religion, but like, um, yeah, if you. You kind of just described God, but as a computer. I guess it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you didn't realize you were doing that. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I just thought that. I, <laughs> I was gonna say it at some point, but I, was, I thought yeah. she'd be like, "Yeah, I know you fucking idiot." <laughs> like, oh no, I'm not like a big, but maybe I just embrace. I don't, whatever, whatever. I don't know. Okay. I'll I'll end up in cold in the next five years. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll do the ATIs now.
if you had a belly button or if your belly button was a candy dispenser, what would be the best and worst thing that it could dispense? Well, there'd be nothing bad. I mean, I guess, I guess like fucking malted milk balls. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, those. But are you don't trash. want like sugar because it's like the same thing with sand, where you got dust everywhere, like sand part, sugar part. Of oh no, I'd just deal with it. <laughs> yeah, you would. Like, I uh, honestly. Anything? It's no. Probably how you live now with like the Starbucks kids oh, ton, in your bed. Oh, tons of sugar everywhere. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> You're probably very exfoliated. Do <laughs> you think so? Like roll around in bed <laughs> at night. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> the uh, anything uh, malted milk balls would be bad. Anything chocolate. Would yeah, be anything bad. chocolate would melt. Not not even melt. It's just like. Yeah. It looks like you're shitting out of your belly button. Yeah. Sure. Like if you're just dispensing candy bars, people would be like, like <laughs> he's <laughs> shitting out of his belly button into his hand. Like, that's yeah. great. If I had Sour Patch Kids, you'd be like, all right, that's a uh, Swedish fish would be nice. That's a little cleaner. Yeah. Um, What's something that's like kind of Twizzler better? Twizzler would be nice. What's that? Mm. Twizzler would Twizzler. be Twizzler. Twizzler. nice. No, Twizzler looks like you're pulling out a fucking organ. Looks like you're pulling out an intestine. Yeah, but it fits like perfectly right in. So it is. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I want to get my hole stretched. <laughs> 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 you're like, your belly button doesn't fucking recoil. <laughs> Just like, like I have a, a gaping belly button. <laughs> Dude, speaking of that. What? How do you have anything to say? <laughs> speaking of that. Bro, I was watching fucking um I was watching fucking New Girl the other day, and there's a line where I was like, what is he even talking about? Um, it was it's Winnie the Bish. Where is this? I definitely have it somewhere here. <laughs> There's so many videos of me in this fucking jockstrap. <laughs> um, here it is. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Yeah, you were sending him to Kevin, dude. So this is after Winnie the Bish is he's uh he's training to be a cop. Okay, it's like when he's training yeah. to be a cop, so he's exercising a lot. And this is the, before they go to the wedding episode, and uh. You know, when they're, gonna, they're sex fisting their way through. Yeah, 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 yeah. And. I can't close my ass. I can't, close my, I can't ass. close my ass, he says. What does that. What does that mean? Wait, wait, wait. Can you explain the contact thing? You haven't seen it? Uh, I don't think I. So it's. I mean, it's I when, when he's, been, he's been exercising. Oh, okay. the Bishop's been exercising. And he. He falls off the couch. There's, there's a thud. And he goes, I just rolled, I'm all right, I just rolled off the couch. <laughs> what does what? I can't close my ass mean? I am, I don't know, that's one of those, that doesn't mean anything. It can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to bother me now. Like, I, there's no other way to hear, I can't, I can't close my ass, and think of anything other than an open ass. <laughs> Which is another fucking like, phrase. May maybe it was like a hernia thing? Hemorrhoid? Your search history must just be... Oh, it's insane what pops up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of my algorithms are so fucked because of this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't, I can't close I my ass. Game. I don't know what you mean aside from you. your ass is open. Getting anything over there? <laughs> I'm getting nothing. 27 new girl moments. It is funny that you're saying, oh, no, you did type a new girl. Hmm. Type in I can't close my ass WebMD and then see. <laughs> just see like, that's like <laughs> and then type in just I can't close my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so this see is rectal rectal up. prolapse. This is rectal prolapse. Okay. Oh. The uh, you guys want me to click on images? Well, I, I, <laughs> I've seen them. I don't care for them. I've seen them. They <laughs> they kind of come up on me. They surprise you in a show. In a, in a show. <laughs> like, Whoa, put that back in there. <laughs> I, don't huh? I don't know if I want to see it. What is it? Oh, you, oh, you don't want to see it. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's not. It, I mean, it's not good. It's not a pink thing. sock. Oh, yeah. See, it's not, oh, you got safe search on. Um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, yeah, it is like one of the first things. I can't close my ass. Right there. Uh, the, um, what was I going to say? This reminds me of I, was, I, was, I forget this porn star's name, and and I was reading an interview with her, which is a fucking <laughs> what dangerously horny moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just reading porn star interviews, it's like, dude, you need to get your life together. It's a long, it's a long time ago. It's just like, like it's like not even like having a porn, a porn star on the podcast. This is like back in the day, like Q and A, like typed out. Here's the question. Here's the Holy answer. Holy shit! And <laughs> and she was describing 
rectal prolapse. <laughs> In the way. What interview were you reading? Dude, I forget her fucking name, dude. I have to find it. Um, I will. I will try and find it after the show. But it is. She was talking about. First of all, it was so fucking awesome. She was talking about how. She was, she was, she was talking about licking rectal prolapses, which was. Oh. That was dastardly. Wait, so is it like a something that comes out? It looks like your your intestine. You, like your organs are coming out of you. Bonnie body. Rotten? It, it's not Bonnie Rotten. No, I haven't been able to think of that one. <laughs> who, by the way, who, by the way, bro, Bonnie Rotten is married to oh, Jesse James. Yeah, I saw that recently. I was shocked by Who's that. Who's Sandra oh, Bullock's ex husband? No. So Sandra. Sandra's throwing down. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, Jesse James went from married to fucking Sandra. And he, he cheated with that chick, like Kat Von D or whatever, the tattoo artist. So you knew he had some uh some some itches he liked to scratch. Holy but, shit. Dude, he's married to Bonnie right now. And then they like got divorced and not divorced on the same day. So I don't know if they're actually together or whatnot, but, but maybe, you he, know, maybe he divorced Sandra because he needed more. It it could be, sure. He was he was weird when he was married to Sandra Bullock, which make, this makes sense. He was like a well known thing. I didn't. I figured he was dead to be totally honest. Um, but yeah, now he's married to fucking Bonnie Rotten, dude. Wow. Um, but anyway, this 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 other porn star who I was I was reading the interview on uh, said it's 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 like licking raw meat, which is not. Uh, it is really not a uh, uh, a, a selling point. But then she, the way she was talking about like being an anal porn star was just the funniest thing in the world. Where she was just like, she, "Look, I know I'm gonna have to wear a diaper by the time I'm 50, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but, like, but like, I'm just about it for love of the game." Like, she's like, "I just like, I know, I don't, I don't care." It's like, listen, it's like we, if you talk to like fucking Brian Cushing, who's like, "I know I'm gonna have CTE when I'm older, <laughs> but like I'm out here fucking snapping necks and cashing checks, and I'm living what I, I like to do, what I like to do." Yeah. And and I feel like God. What was her name? It began with an A. It definitely began was with an A. Was it Chechik? No, 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 no. I'm just googling like anal porn star. Um, you've talked about this before. Yeah, this, right? I, I remember I you saying uh, the diaper thing. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. That's not one you forget. God. August Ames? No. no. I mean, you're perfect for her. Then you have diapers. <laughs> I'll, like, I, I mean, like I'll. One day I'll like stumble upon her and I'll be like, oh yeah, that's who I meant. But like, I'll never be able to find this. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just looking at porn right now. <laughs> um, next, next answer to that question. We'll do three of these and we'll do three voicemails and we'll get the fuck out of here. Would you rather every time you sneeze, you come, or every time you fart, you get a Charlie horse? What? I feel like one of these is a good thing, one of these is a bad thing. Yeah, one of these is very yeah, bad. Yeah, what? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm I'm opting to fucking come every time I sneeze. <laughs> Agreed. Well, do you get the sensation? Do you get the orgasm? Well, isn't that what they say? It's what we used to say all the time when we were kids, like on the school bus, that like a sneeze is like one eighth of an orgasm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like what was it? The this the knee thing? The knee thing. It's yeah. like one sixteenth or something like that. Yeah. I get it, man. I get it because that shit <laughs> feels good. <laughs> then I've done three, four, five. <laughs> Just do sixteen. <laughs> Imagine I, I I hit sixteen and I was like. <laughs> I gotta go. That's. But I think I think your knees like too tight. I don't think my knee has that feel. Whenever you know how doctors like hit the. Yeah, you talk about reflexes. Never reflexes. My never. I don't think that my knees like have any kind of. You don't have reflexes. I don't know. What a weird twist. (laughs) 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 It's just only upper body reflexes. (laughs) That's that's a. A tough thing for a soccer player. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't end up being very good. <laughs> um, yeah, this is. I mean, I fart all the time. I would hate to have. Wait, what was the second one? Twenty Charlie horses a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, if I if I had a Charlie horse every time I farted, I'd have a permanent limp. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> My only thought is allergy season's gonna be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it is. It's not all good. I don't sneeze that often. Like. Yeah, and there's also you can stop sneezes. You just look in the light. You don't no, feel you like look at light makes you sneeze. Oh, that's the exact opposite. And if you want to come, then <laughs> 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 like you just didn't tell anyone. You just walked around here like a 
a feather you'd always like tickle your nose with. <laughs> yeah. Like, why yeah. are you always doing that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that can be good though. Like if you can't finish, you can't you finish. Bring some feathers. Just, just open a pillow. Just, you, you bang a line of fucking pepper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm almost there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's a pretty simple one. I can't. I can't even think of the pro. Yeah. Of like. Yeah. Again, I, I I would I would be like Kaiser Soze. I would just have this limp at all times. <laughs> if I fart, if I got a charge horse, I farted. <laughs> and then I would, and also farting so fun that like <laughs> the enjoyment you'd take away from like we'd be like, oh man. You get, you, know, you get jacked up, you're like, oh, my God, fart. And then you'd be like, oh, man, the second I do this, it's going to feel like I got shot in the leg. That is not ideal. You know what I was thinking, though? Please don't exp- Yeah, yeah. Continue. This is, I was thinking about this when I was, so I was driving, I drove to Vermont by myself, I drove home by myself. And, like, I don't know, man, like, you're in the car sometimes. I ate Wendy's, I mean, I ate McDonald's, and, like, you just got to fart. Like... Wait, what? That's the end of the thought? No, 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 no. But like, <laughs> like I was driving. Like I'm on a highway. And I was like, <clears throat> like, like when when chicks are alone, are you fucking farting? God. <laughs> I'm not answering any questions. Why like not, that. man? I don't. I got uh, yeah, I yeah. I got one question. Do bitches be farting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in. I, Come I, on, I'm answer not it. having these conversations. <laughs> I'm not doing like, it. We're just like, all right, I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to. You guys fart. You guys be farting. No, we don't, right? We never do. Don't give me this nonsense. Like fucking sometimes you just want to uncork one. <laughs> <laughs> Can we read the next question? No. <laughs> Put it on the vision board, <laughs> Jackie. Big boofs in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, cut, I'm cutting that out. I'm cutting that out. <laughs> if I if if that's not in here, you're in trouble. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll I'll actually I'll nip this in the bud. Pass. Can I get a clip of that? <laughs> I was gonna say I could just take that part out too. <laughs> It'll be really no, weird when the clip goes out. <laughs> I already marked it. Yeah, Paz, clips are pretty easy so far today. Uh, ghost rape, uh, <laughs> vision board, and do bitches be farting? <laughs> Martin Luther King. <laughs> come on. Thank Jack. you. Come on. <laughs> Jackie's <laughs> elementary school. Everything. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> um, all right, last ATI. All right. Would you rather swim out to, you, to save your unconscious friend bleeding in shark-infested waters or go see a movie, maybe get popcorn? Wait, wait, go see a movie, maybe get popcorn. But I don't understand. These are both like. <laughs> it's, it's just, would you, would you risk your life to save your friend in unconscious waters or instead go to a movie and maybe. Get oh, popcorn? I see. I see. I see. Leaving the friend to die. Yes. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. They're still drowning with the shark mm-hmm. and, but they're bleeding in shark infested waters or you I go enjoy you. a movie. My- I like I do like a, a multiplex right next to the water. That is good. <laughs> yeah. Um Jackie. Yeah. My my like biggest fear, I've said this, is losing a leg. I don't know why. It is just I can't I'm like afraid that at some point I'm gonna lose my right leg. And it's always been a fear it's of mine. Specific leg. It's specifically like drive like I it like haunts me. And shark attacks is obviously like the number one way to lose a leg. I don't think that's true at all. I don't know. I, don't want I to bet shark much. attacks not even top fifty was like. Mm, it's up there. It's up there. It's it's really not. How many shark attacks do you think they were this year? I would go with like six. Six, yeah. right? And how many yeah. think they ate one leg? I bet zero. I bet zero people lost a leg to shark this year in America. No else really counts. <laughs> how many like construction workers? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. How about how about loggers? I don't want to talk about this. Car like accidents. Diabetes. Diabetes will get you. Sure. Oh, that means that's probably a good one. <laughs> the point is, I don't want I don't want to put my limbs. You in any said kind that of with harm. such confidence. <laughs> the, and the number one way it was like obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Shark like it's, it's it's up there. It's up there. It's it is a. I will it's give you where a, the limbs are for the taking the most mm. from animals. I, I disagree with that again. I think it's because because you're always on your legs. So like a bear, you can't really. Dog more likely to dog. get a hundred percent. No dog. I bet more dogs take dog legs than sharks. It would have to be a huge dog. 
You have nothing to say that. You have nothing to say that. Yeah, good. yeah, Pavs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say zero dogs ate legs this year. <laughs> well, I bet I bet a hundred, a hundred people lost their legs to a dog this year. No, no Pavs, way. No way fucking chance. No way. Yeah, I, I, you're saying they lost their leg to the dog. Like, you like think they, that they, like, zero like, If you say they got bit by a dog, that's a different like different color. Their leg is damaged, nerve damage because of a dog bite. First of all, now you're changing it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you think that zero sharks, but 100 dogs? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's so many more dogs. 4.5 uh, yeah. million people were bitten by dogs. Okay, this year. that's a different thing. But that's a that's, that's six also, people were bitten by are sharks. How they tracking that? What? Yeah. And then rabies. <laughs> Do you think you lose a leg to rabies? I would get rid of it. <laughs> I would get, I'd get rid of it. Rabies, rabies just it, it, it just makes you like scared of water. I feel like Pavs like doesn't know also, what we're talking die. about. You have rabies, you die. That's it. You die? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought they say, could cut it off. Like, okay. If you have rabies, you die. Can like, you like, I, th I think no one has ever survived rabies. They, if they, if they get you with the antidote. We're making a lot of very vast statements right now. I don't know if that's I, true. I, how, well, again, if, 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 I'm not talking about like there. there is like the fucking antidote where you think. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you can, oh, if you don't but get if treated. if you got yeah, rabies, yeah. you die. Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah. I've got four accounted for legs lost this year. I'm right. seeing dates. It's or, like or 2018, so 2021, and 2013. I got 21. 21. These, when you say, what, what, do you, what year do you think it is? It's 23. <laughs> also, you said 100. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> That's one of those people I, I'll say this. I don't think it's 100, but I think more people have lost their legs to dog bites mm. this year. But I don't think – I feel like when we first said this, you were trying to argue that the dog <laughs> ate the leg. Yeah. I think maybe there's an infection that happens and the leg has to be taken off by doctors. Yeah. I, don't I think zero dogs have eaten legs this year. <laughs> okay, that's all those people were like, you don't want to help you on your side. In an argument he's just going to weaken it. Um, um, okay. Uh, we'll go voicemail. I got now. two voicemails. For two today. voicemails. Hey, what's up, boys? So, what a, what a head of hair. I mean, come It was on. 2018. I was about to get my hair cut. I was listening to the Pat McAfee show, and you guys were on the show, and I remember thinking, all right, these guys are hilarious. I'm definitely going to have to check them out. So it's been five years, and there's really only two things that I've been consistent with, and one is I listen to KFC radio, and two, I haven't cut my hair since, uh, but that is until now. So I'm getting ready to do it, cut it all off. I'm going to donate it, of course, and, you know, locks of love or something like that. But I want you guys' thoughts, ideas on how I should do it. So one idea I had was I thought about starting like a GoFundMe and where all the money will go to charity um, and I'll give it like a month. And at the end of that month, whoever's donated the most amount of money, I will go to wherever they're at and I will let them cut my hair. And they can either buzz it or shave it or give me a mohawk or whatever the fuck they want to do. Um... But they have to cut at least 15 inches off, so that way I can, you know, donate it still. Uh, but, yeah, I think something like that would be really cool. I'm going to raise some money. And, like, I understand that nobody actually gives a fuck about me cutting my hair. But it's, like, it's taken me five years to do it. And you guys, unknowingly, have been in the background of it all. Uh, through all the gay jokes and all of the people telling me I look like I'm a homeless and... I've been called Jesus like 17,000 times. Oh, um, despite the beautiful hair. Yeah, what's the Middle drop Eastern, 13? But a whatever. A so, anyone who calls you guys think, I think it's a good idea or if I should just, you know, go to sport clips and grow the fuck up and cut it. So if that's the case, that's fine. But thank you guys for the past five years and look forward to the next. Later. Well, we very much appreciate listening. We very much be a part of this journey. And the reason we actually showed this clip today is because we reached out to him and we said you will match. No, no, didn't. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Yeah, we, you're not. You just came up with that. You're just so, so you're anti charity. No, so, no. So Jackie for for today, kids. we've discovered Jackie. Not discovered, but just just on the record, Jackie, um, a ghost sexual assault victim. <laughs> Uh, who is anti MLK, anti God, no, I, I, and anti charity? I jumped on that list. I'm pro MLK. Uh, well, not but not when you were in middle school. Why is that much I'm in middle school? Kidding. 
<laughs> um, I, I, beautiful head of hair. Um, and I think that I like what he's doing with the charity thing. I will not match it. Anti charity. No. Oh, I will. Um, How much will you donate to him? When he... Like now, you just put me in an uncomfortable position. Sure did. I'll yeah. do like <laughs> two inches, three inches. You'll cut off three inches, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything because you can't donate three inches of hair. I could donate three inches of hair <laughs> to who? Somebody who wants three a uh, three inch of hair wig. Okay, so you will donate it to a KFC radio listener. You will send <laughs> you will send your three inches of your hair to a KFC. Yeah, but radio now listener. I'm like I can get some money out of that. Yeah. So now it's kind of like I'm losing money on that. You're definitely losing money on that deal. No, like now you put me in such an uncomfortable. I get, sure, if a KFC radio listener wants three inches of my hair, I'll send it to you. I guess I will. I think. I don't know. I don't. I just get swindled into that. I have no idea. I don't know what I was gonna say to this. I just decided to start. Decided to start talking. I was like, I don't know how you answer a question like that. Again, like I'm very happy as a listener. I think the GoFundMe idea is nice. I don't know. Uh, I, I do think GoFundMe has has kind of. I don't. I think people kind of roll their eyes at GoFundMe's now. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I maybe it's because we get them tweeted at us so often that yeah. it is like you can't donate to everyone. Um, I don't know. Maybe GoFundMe. Now I'm still invested over. in his. I want to know who he ends up. I think, but also, what like, what if someone, like, let's say, let's say he uh, does this, we retweet it. He sounded like he was a southern man, uh, southern gentleman. Let's say he lives in Indiana. What if someone from California is the highest donor? He's gonna fly to California. So someone can cut his hair? That seems like a waste of funds. Funds that are better off going to this charity. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, I think, yeah, you I think when you it. ask a national podcast, you open yourself up to quite a predicament. Yeah. That is true. International podcast. Dude, actually, how many fucking countries were we in? It oh, was insane. It's, a, it's an insane amount. It was like, like last year we were listening to, to in like 180 countries. Yeah. Are any of them tropical? <laughs> are any of them tropical? I actually was texting Kevin about that. Uh over the break where I was like it was like it's like we could just go to Australia and just do like what it would we wouldn't make any money on it but we could pay for the trip. Yeah. Foreplay did that. <laughs> For well they theirs was completely sold, but they did like a whole week in Australia at one point. Oh I forgot about that. Yeah. It was and fucking in Scotland. Sick. Yeah, they've God, done we should they've golf. done it right. Oh that's that put out my vision board for twenty twenty three. Oh okay. I'm gonna fucking start golfing. <laughs> Oh, I, awesome. I'm going to sell so much KFC Radio Sad Boy golf merch. <laughs> I'll be your caddy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll be your caddy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pabst yeah. was a caddy. caddy. What would you say? He was caddy, caddy boy. Caddy, caddy boy? boy. <laughs> not, I don't know what you call them. Caddy. <laughs> caddy. <laughs> no, we've said it a couple times. <laughs> Multiple times. Um, all right. Last one. Voicemail, and then we can go home. I'll caddy for you. What's up, guys? You'll caddy? I'll caddy boy. Okay. I... Uh, and the same way as John and Jackie, I hate being wet. I can't, you can't put a wet towel on my bed. I can't put clothes on until I'm completely dry. Um, That's the opposite John of John walks around naked. Jackie just walks around in a towel. I lay my towel on the floor and I will lay on the floor playing on my phone until I'm dry enough that I can put my clothes on. So... I guess we're all idiots. We're all just learning how to drive. See, off that's one that I didn't think about. That's a good one. <sighs> so, want to know? Maybe it's Kevin that's the issue. I'll say this: regret dumping water on myself. I've been unnecessarily wet I'm, for this whole show. I'm happy show. about that. I, I I get wet on this show a lot, be it from <laughs> my own sweat or what. Like this is the first time that it's it's. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch a cold on this show. I'll say that. Yeah, it is. I am. My nips rock hard right now. Everything is cold. I'm, I'm kind of shivering. Um, so, yeah. Now, yeah, that's another thing added to the list. Always on a train, always in a hospital, always what? Always what? John <laughs> The uh, It is the... Uh, yeah, I feel like my body doesn't dry the same as everyone else. I completely agree. I think that particularly like, my undercarriage. Okay. <laughs> I'm chilling in that area, but like... Bro, I fucking... I dry... I dry, dry, and dry it. I'm like, all right, this is crazy. We can't put underwear on wet what again today. What are you doing today. to try and dry it? Use a towel, Jackie. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? I mean, and, I, and I, I've said this before. I, I don't always do it, but I've stepped it up where I'll fucking sometimes blow dry. Mm. Mm. That's the only way you get it done. You just get blow dry and just fucking... 
<laughs> but mm-hmm. it is. It doesn't make any sense how wet I always am. Because it's like it's not really sweat. No, I I think that my like my body just absorbs. I think like we're like part sponge, not like part sponge, but like our skin is spongier than most. You think so? And we absorb water. I I don't know about that. Fashion. Also, look how fucking pale I am right now. Mm-hmm. I think it's because I'm so cold. My hands are going like I got like blue spots on them from that water. I think so. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been a dick and done that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have been wrong about free will. I had to prove free you will to you. You didn't prove it, though. You just spilled no, water on yourself and now I you're did cold. prove it. I wanted to do that. I did that. I know, but because you think your mind... Everything. No, this is the problem with your stupid argument is that I can't win it because you just... I know, because I'm right, maybe. No, not because you're right, maybe, because you're making some... It's a well, then, false... Then you, then you can't prove them wrong. So maybe I know that's the problem with the, the argument. You can't just say you. It, it is the. It is I don't on, know how to argue this anymore. It's like, on I, you. I feel like we're on the same page now. No, no we're not. Wait, wait, wait. It wait. is on you to prove that there is such a thing as it's it, it, much like the God thing. It's on fucking yeah. religious people to prove to me there is a God. But I. It's on you to prove to me there's an al- but algorithm. Like, doesn't it just make sense? Like, just again, think about it. It makes sense if we're just code and we're robots it doesn't make sense it actually it actually, makes the exact opposite there's sense. studies that have been done that says it's more likely that we are in a simulation than not in a simulation are these tiktok studies or real yeah studies? where is this no study? i mm. haven't seen the studies myself but i've heard <laughs> that they're they're, they're, i know that something's out you know there what's funny is like earlier you're saying like be confident in yourself and stuff like that this just you're not giving yourself any credit for anything you do by saying it's all simulation. Well, it, it, I actually kind of feel like I like it because it's like, it's like when all the good blame the bad on simulation. <laughs> yeah, but like it's like, well, what can I do? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't like fully thought it through yet. <laughs> but like, oh, if no, there was a simulation, no, you would have known to lay down on the table. But also, you can control. I think. I don't I haven't I haven't thought it through. Like I, I obviously don't have all the answers to the universe, but I just think that there's something there. And our bri- our brains are too small to like understand it now. When I'm high, I can understand it. <laughs> but right now, my like sober brain can't explain it to you. I'll oh. I'll get back to you on this. Okay. All right, we'll get back to you. That's yeah. the end of today's episode. See you Thursday. Make sure you subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast, so that's it.